So once you arrive on your mat, just settle in. Take a nice deep inhalation through your nose, a nice cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you settle and say, ah, just let everything go and just melt into the mat. Oh, I turned my phone off. Just melt into the mat. Just letting go of what came before this moment and what will come after this moment. And just finding yourself in the present, in the now. So noticing your body and how it feels right now. Noticing the support of the mat, the support and cradling of the earth, allowing you to just completely let go just leaving any cares or concerns you may have in an imaginary basket outside the door, outside the door of the room that you're in. And just perhaps coming to your home base, if you'd like, and beginning to just watch the breath, that gentle flow of air the inflow and the outflow. No need for you to do anything to the breath. The body knows how to breathe. So you just can be an observer right now, just watching the breath, seeing if you can stay with the breath, following it all the way in through the nasal passages, back of the throat, the chest and maybe even into the belly and then following it all the way out just staying with the breath just riding it like it's a wave just a gentle wave so be with the breath for a little bit And as you're watching your breath, make note by noticing the state of your breath. Is your breath getting stuck any place? Is it shallow? Is it a deep breath? And without judgment, just begin to become familiar with your breath so that when you're off the mat, you notice and you can, you know, I don't want to say correct your breath, but you can adjust your breath. So if you're holding your breath, if you're doing something, you know, if you become familiar with how your breath flows, you can remind yourself to breathe, which can help your state of mind and help the body. So if we breathe, we can relax with the breath. So our focus today is going to be on finding your asana. Your as asana, A-S-A-N-A, -A -A, is your pose. So becoming comfortable with 
the shape of your body when, you know, when we're doing any certain pose and just settling into your own version of that pose. So, you know, everyone's body is different. We all look different. Um, so we're not trying to mimic anyone. We're just trying to do our, our asanas safely. But when we, you know, kind of stop and pause and notice um, how the pose feels and what the pose is for us, that's another way for us to become comfortable in our own body and we can make ourselves comfortable if we recognize when we have discomfort or if we recognize when the body feels good. So I guess it's all about becoming familiar and just pausing and noticing instead of rushing through things. So we're just going to find our own asanas, our own version of the postures. So we're going to float our arms up overhead and we'll stretch out through our fingertips, down through our body, out through our toes, and we'll pause and just notice how our body is feeling as we begin. Are we feeling tight or tired? Or are we feeling loose and relaxed? So just getting to know that feeling so that we can adjust if it's not the feeling we're looking for. So again, just breathing in through your nose, walking your shoulders up towards your ears as we stretch out. through our fingertips and down through our body and out through our toes. And then releasing and allowing the arms and legs to be relaxed. Feeling the back body as it rests on the mat. Feeling that connection to the earth. And then we're going to lift the left arm slightly off the mat and the right leg slightly off the mat. We'll stretch through the left fingertips and the right toes as we allow the opposite arm and leg to be relaxed. So stretch through the left fingertips, stretch through the right toes, maybe wiggling the right fingertips and the left toes so that they're relaxed. Replace that left arm and right leg down, and then we're going to lift the right arm off the mat, stretching through the right fingertips, lift the left leg off the mat, stretching through the left toes, really stretch, reaching, pointing through the left toes, and then see if you can wiggle the right toes and the left fingers. And then replace arm and leg down, and then we're going to switch again. So we're going to lift the left arm, stretch through the left fingertips, lift the right leg, stretch through the right toes. So stretching, and then see if you can wiggle the right fingertips and the left toes. You have to think about it a little bit. Replace arm and leg on the mat. And then we're going to lift the left arm, stretch through the left fingertips, lift the right leg, stretch through the right toes, stretching through those limbs. And then we'll wiggle the right fingertips and the left toes. <laughs> and then replace arm and leg on the mat, walking heels, over towards the left, lifting head and shoulders, bringing them over towards the left. And we'll just breathe into that right side body. Made some space there. So take two rounds of breath here, nice and deep. 
filling up the lungs with fresh oxygen. Releasing any stale air. And then bringing head and shoulders back to center, bringing feet back to center, and now walking feet off the mat to the right, lifting head and shoulders up, bringing them over towards the right, and breathing into the left side body. So nice two rounds of breath, nice deep cleansing breath in and releasing any stale old air out. Lifting head and shoulders, bringing them back to center, walking heels back to center, floating arms down by our sides as we bend our legs, placing our feet wide on the mat. So left foot on left side, right foot on right side of mat. And then we'll use our breath to drop alternating knees to the midline. So exhale, drop the left knee, inhale it up. Exhale, drop the right knee, inhale it up. So just continue with that movement using the breath. So the breath helps you move with ease and just we get used to paying attention to our breath and noticing how the forehead is. Like are we relaxed in the forehead and around the eyes? Is the facial muscles, the jaw relaxed? Are you gripping or holding in the shoulders or gripping in the hands? And just see if you can allow yourself to release and relax. Nowhere for you to be except nurturing body, mind, and spirit. You deserve it. And you're the better person for it to those around you if you take care of yourself. I used to think it was a selfish thing to take care of myself because as a teacher and a mother, you just like give, give, give. But I finally learned that I'm better if I'm relaxed and happy. And the next time your knees come up to the sky, just bring them to stillness and we're going to make our way to our bellies. We'll come into our um, plank pose if you'd like. If you're tired today and it's not what you feel like doing, you can um, spread your feet wide and just come into crocodile. So that's stacking your forearms on top of each other, stacking your forehead on top of your forearms and just watching your breath, feeling the diaphragm press into the mat on the inhale and soften on the exhale. So you can just come into crocodile if you want. Um, we'll come into crocodile after our plank and your options for plank are elbow plank or you can do a half plank, which um, would be on your knees or you can do a full plank on your hands with straight arms. So um, this week we're on to 50 seconds, but you can come down, of course, at any time. But we're trying to build strength in our core and in our shoulders and our arms and our backs and everything. So, okay, so we're just going to get ready here. I'll count to three and we'll come up. So one and two and three. Squeeze the glutes and the abs. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, 18,000, 19,000, 20,000, 21,000, 22,000, 23,000, 24,000, 25,000, 26,000, 27,000, 28,000, 
29,000, 30,000, 31,000, 32,000, 33,000, 34,000, 35,000, 36,000, 37,000, 38,000, 39,000, 40,000, 41,000, 42,000, 43,000, 44,000, 45,000, 46,000, 47,000, 48,000, 49,000, and 50,000. Come down onto your belly. Come into crocodile. And just watch the diaphragm. Watch the breath for a few moments. We will lift our head off our forearms as you're ready. We'll come into a flowing sphinx. So we'll frame our face with our hands, walk our shoulders away from our ears, rest our forehead down on the mat, and on your next inhalation, press up into sphinx. So just gazing slightly in front of your mat, pressing into your pubic bone and the tops of your feet. Exhale down, forehead to mat. Inhale, shoulders and head up off the mat. Squeeze the glutes. Feel the strength in your back. Exhale down. Inhale up one more time for Sphinx. Notice where your shoulders are. So. Try to relax the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale down, forehead down. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in towards your body. And then we'll inhale and come into Cobra. And your arms can be bent. You could stay in Sphinx if you're more comfortable, a little bit lower down. Exhale down. <sighs> Inhale up again. So pressing into the pubic bone and the tops of the feet. Relax your shoulders. Feel the stretch in the front body. Exhale down. And then inhale up one more time. Exhale down. And then we'll make our way to our backs. And once we arrive on our back, We'll bring our knees into our chest. And then rock from side to side. Make circles on the ceiling with your knees. Small circles that gradually get larger. And pause any place where the back needs a little extra attention. And once you get to the big circles, pause and reverse direction. And spiral your circles down so that they get gradually smaller. And then we're going to make our way up to seated. If you have a little more energy in you and you would like to rock up to boat or half boat, you can pause in half boat. If you'd like to roll to your side and push yourself up and come to Sukhasana that way, that's a nice way to, way to make your way up, up to seated.
And once you get to Sukhasana, just rock. Rock from side to side. And feel the earth beneath you before you come to stillness. And then sit up nice and tall, extending through your crown. And we're going to cross left arm on top of right arm and place hands on opposite knees. And we'll come into a seated cat cow. So we're going to rock forward as we inhale and gaze up at the sky. Exhale, round our back, chin to our chest for cat. Inhale, rock forward, gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest. And just notice the flexibility in the spine and just continue with this motion. And then once you come um, to neutral, change the cross of your arms as you also change the cross of your legs. And then just continue with that motion three or four more times. Using the breath. And once you've done it three or four more times on, on the second side, you can come to stillness and sit up nice and tall and we'll come to a seated twist. So we're going to bring our knees together in the center and then we'll drop the knees to the left. So they're pointing left, sit up nice and tall as you slide the right knee back so that it's cradled by the left instep. Bring your torso to center so you're sitting up nice and tall. And then inhale your arms up, stretching through your fingertips as you twist left on the exhale, looking out to the left side, extending through the crown. Inhaling back to center, stretching as you gaze up, exhaling left again. Twist a little bit more if your back and neck allow. Inhale to center. Stretch, sit up tall, exhale left, twist a little bit more still. Inhale to center, exhale left, looking out over the left shoulder if the body allows. And then inhale back to center, bring the hands down, float them down. Bring your knees to center in front of you. Drop the knees to the right. Slide that left knee back, cradling it with the right instep. Bring your torso to center as you extend through your, extend through your crown. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up, really stretching through your fingertips, exhaling, twisting right as you bring your arms down. Inhale to center, exhale, twist right, twisting a little bit more. Inhale to center, stretching through the fingertips, gazing up at the sky, exhale, twist right. Inhaling to center, exhaling, twisting right looking out over that right back shoulder. And then returning back to center. And then we'll cross our legs again in Sukhasana. And we'll come into some wrist circles. So just extending your arms out in front of you and just making fists, circling your wrists, changing directions with the wrists. Bringing hands to rest on your knees, dropping chin to chest, 
Coming into some nice head circles, head and neck circles. Go around in one direction three times. Mindfully. And then pausing and reversing your direction. And then bringing, bringing head back to center as you're ready in your own time. Then bringing soles of feet together, interlacing your hands and placing your fingers, your hands on top of your toes, sit up nice and tall. And here's a spot where you can pause and find your own Baddha Konasana, your bound angle pose. So just maybe even making note of where your knees are. You know, some people are much more flexible, so your knees might be resting on the earth. Some people, your knees might be up closer to your arms. And just notice where you are without judgment. Your Baddha Konasana, the shape of your body. And you can drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, look up at the sky. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. Inhale, look up at the sky. Listen to my chimes in the background. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. And then bring your head back to neutral. And then we're going to gracefully make our way to table. So find your table. Wrists underneath, shoulders, knees underneath, hip points. Spread fingers wide. And we'll come into a flowy cat. So dropping our belly, spreading through our collarbone on the inhale as we look forward. And then press into the mat, push the earth away, round the back. Press back to the heels and then drop your elbows. Trace them out with your nose as you come forward on the inhale for, for cow, spreading the collarbones. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, push the earth away. Press back so you're sitting on your heels. Drop your elbows. Come forward on the inhale. Exhale, round the back. Press back to the heels, so you're sitting on the heels. Drop the elbows. Trace the mat with the nose as you come forward. And then pause in a neutral table. Inhale, and as you exhale, look back at your right hip. Inhale to center. Exhale, look at the left hip. Inhale to center, come to stillness. Turn the left palm up towards the sky. Slide it under the right arm as you bring the left cheek down to the mat for thread the needle. Slide the right hand on the floor, on the mat above your head and press into the mat with your right palm. And then slide that right palm so that it meets the left palm. And then take the right palm and place it near your face as you press into the floor, into the mat to come out of thread the needle on that side. Then we'll take the right hand, turn the palm face up, slide the right palm underneath the left arm 
as you bring your right cheek down to the mat for thread the needle on this side. Slide the left palm up overhead, press it into the mat, and then slide the left palm so that it meets the right palm as if your hands are in a prayer. And then take the left palm, bring it next to your face, press into the mat to come out of thread the needle on that side. We're going to come into lizard now. So we'll take the left foot, bring it to the edge, the left edge of the mat, walk the right knee back. And we're going to sink into this left hip flexor. So we can even come onto our palms. Some people can actually come down to their elbows and we'll just sink into that left hip for a nice deep stretch that should feel comfortable. You should feel the stretch, it shouldn't be hurting you, but you should be able to feel the muscles stretching a little bit. Keep the breath flowing. So notice where you are in this asana. Pause and find your lizard. Are you, you know, maybe your hands are on blocks or maybe you are down on your elbows. Everybody is different. No judgment. And then walking the hands back towards us a little bit, we'll sweep that left foot behind us. And then we'll bring the right foot forward to the right edge of the mat. So palms or hands are on the instep side of the right foot as we walk that left knee back, sinking into the right hip flexor. Just allow the body to gently release. Use your breath to help you relax and release into the posture, into the asana. Even noticing if left side was tighter than this right side or vice versa. Notice your facial muscles, jaw, relax the jaw. So open the lips slightly so to release your jaw. Then walk your hands back towards you as you sweep the right foot behind you, coming back to your table, spreading your fingers nice and wide as you curl your toes under, sending your hips up towards the sky coming onto your toes, walking your dog. And as you're ready, coming to your version of downward facing dog. And just notice how the body feels. Notice where your hands and your feet are, where your heels are. Again, without judgment, just making note, pausing and noticing. So building strength in our arms and our shoulders, stretching our calves and back of thighs, strengthening our core. So engaging the core by bringing the belly button in And then walking your feet towards your hands as you hang forward in Uttanasana and then slowly roll up with your head coming up last. And then we'll 
find our Tadasana, everyone. And I know you all know Tadasana, so feel the strength of the pose. Tada, meaning mountain. Asana, meaning pose. So Tadasana, mountain pose. Feel the balance. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Feel your crown extending towards the sky. Feel stable, strong, holding your place as a mountain would do. Perhaps taking a couple of rounds of nice deep breaths here. And then fluttering your eyes open as you make your way, turning towards the left side of your mat, bringing the left foot forward, right foot back. Hips are square to the front of the mat. We're going to come into warrior, warrior one, two, and three. So, and we're going to pause and feel our version of the pose. So, Inhale the arms up, elbow creases near your ears. Exhale, bend the front knee, engage your core, spread your fingers wide, gaze up at the sky. Shoulders are relaxed, pressing into the big toe of the front foot, back heel. And pause and notice how this pose feels. Feel strong. It's a warrior pose. Really stretch the fingertips up towards the sky. Turn so that you come into warrior two. Sink into that left knee, knee over ankle. Stretch fingertips away and notice how you feel in this pose. Warrior two. Just notice. And then we'll float the arms down, step that right foot forward. And uh, we're going to come into warrior three now. So we're going to bring the weight of the body onto that left leg. So we're gonna come onto the right toes. Oops. And then our arms can be out kind of like in an airplane or a little bit behind us as we come off the back toes bringing the torso forward for warrior three. Notice this pose, how do you feel? and slowly bring the back foot down and notice, pause, were you using positive words to yourself or were you using negative words? <laughs> no, it was a bit of a balance. So, you know, we want to just encourage ourselves as if we were encouraging a friend all right, so we're going to come into warrior one on this side. So step the right foot forward, left foot back. Toes are both pointing towards the short end of the mat. Hips are pointing towards the short end of the mat. 
Inhaling our arms up, stretching through our fingertips. Exhale, bend the front knee. Engage the core to protect the back, the lower back. Press into the big toe mound of the front foot, back heel of the back foot. Relaxing the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide as you might want to gaze up towards the sky. Feel the strength of the pose. And then we'll come to warrior two. So I usually ask you or say, Cross your arms in front of your chest as you turn your torso to the long end of the mat, adjust your feet, and then bring the arms wide, bend into the front knee as you gaze out over your middle front finger, relaxing your shoulders, feeling the strength in the pose. Engage your core. And how does this feel? This is my favorite pose, but it wasn't always my favorite. Building strength in our shoulders and our legs. And then floating our arms down, stepping that back foot forward as we turn our torso or turn our hips towards the short end of the mat and we'll slowly come off the back foot, bring our arms in like an airplane shape as we rotate forward on that right leg and just bring the left foot off the mat for warrior three. Finding a drishti, a focal point. One side might be better than the other. Slowly coming down. Patting yourself on the shoulders for doing a balance your long day, you still manage to do that. And then we're going to spread our feet wide and we're just going to swing our arms very loosely, kind of, I think we call this washing machine. <laughs> so just, and you can bend your knees slightly and just swinging your arms, letting your arms kind of slap against your body. Nice and easy. Just loosening up, letting all the shoulder muscles and hip muscles and arms and legs just be relaxed and loose. And then if you'd like, you can slowly bend the knees and come down and graze the earth with your fingertips. You can feel the lower back, just getting a nice little massage. And then bring yourself to stillness. Come on to your knees, make your way to your back. And once you come to your back, you can bring your knees into your chest, hug them in and exhale, squeeze your knees into your chest. Inhale, push your knees away and do that a couple of times. Squeezing your knees into your chest on the exhale, inhaling, pushing them away and doing any other movements that feel good to you before you relax in Shavasana.
And once you arrive in Shavasana, just taking a nice deep breath in through your nose, biggest breath you've taken all day, exhaling through your mouth as you say, ah, and just settle the back body, completely releasing and relaxing into the mat, feeling the cradle of the earth beneath you. I invite you to come back to the room by deepening your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes, if you'd like to bring your hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra, may you be filled with a sense of self as you move through the rest of your day and beyond. Namaste. Mm -hmm.